guys, uh, what do you want to see out of Kay, especially this first weekend? Well, we, we want to see him get better. And, uh, you know, we, we look forward to the opportunity is there, have Kay ready to uh, play minutes if, if he has to. So uh, we already know he's fast and uh, he's very athletic. But, you know, we just want him to see, see him manage the game a little bit better and uh, you know, make good decisions. When you try to evaluate, you know, I know it's only one game, but do you look at the box score and you say two of, I think it was two of 11 or something like that. Do you, do you look at that and frown, or what are you looking for him to do in these games? Like I told the guys before the game started, if you go out and play with energy and effort, we're going to give ourselves a chance to win. I mean, it's our first game. We've had a couple two-a-day practices where we got up and down, but, you know, nothing simulates the game. So we knew we were going to. Maybe miss some shots, make some mistakes, but I think our energy and effort defensively what really got us off to a good start, and uh, we finished it out. What did you make of Case Epsom diving for a loose ball, taking charges? I mean, he's been he's been with the team all year, so he understands how important possessions are. He understands how important the minutes are, so he just went out there and played hard. What did you see out of Benny Tavares today? A guy, you guys got at the end of the regular season, didn't get a chance to see much of him in the playoffs because of the injury. But what did you make of this? Eddie is Eddie. You know, I think uh, with the way we played on the perimeter defensively, uh, we were aggressive. And the reason why we were, were aggressive, we knew we had Eddie on our back line. So uh, the guys did a hell of a job defensively. Eddie was in there uh, getting rebounds, you know, attempting to block shots. And offensively, he gave us a presence. Brandon Paul's a guy you've had in your minor league organization before. Has looked really good the past couple of summer leagues. Kind of seems to be on the cusp yeah. of an NBA job. You see the NBA in the future for him? I do. I think he's an NBA player. He has a, he has an NBA body and, and he has a skill that you know teams in the NBA need, and that's shooting. And, uh, you know, I, I told him when he got here, uh, when he came from Orlando, when you're open, I want you to shoot it. And uh, if you don't shoot it, you're hurting your basketball team because. Uh, your percentages are high, and it's going to help us open things up for Eddie and other guys on the inside. Is there one thing you think that's keeping him back from the NBA, or is it just continuing to prove himself? You just have to continue to work, you know, and, and find your opportunity. And, and all it takes is one team to like you, and then uh, you could be like me and have a 12 year career. You, uh, was, it, was this your first game as a head coach, any level? Did you ever? Uh, yeah. Yeah. 1 0. Oh. Can't. Uh, yeah. I'm happy for the guys, really, because um, you know when you get a group of, of new guys together and, and you have four practices and, and you try to you know give them a system, they went out and executed that system to the best of, the, of their abilities. And you know, we hope we held a good team uh, in Milwaukee to I think 53 points, and uh, that's all a coach can ask for. So it's not about me; it's about the guys. What did you think though about being in charge and all that? I love being in charge. Yeah? Yeah, I love being in charge. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's about the guys and, and helping them uh, reach their potential to uh, you know, do whatever they want to do going from here. Whether it be playing in the NBA, playing overseas, G League, whatever. I just I just want to help put those guys in a great position to succeed. When do you want to be a coach? When? When did you decide that? Because you had quite a few years there in between. Well, um, just watching and you know, visualizing myself, could I do it? And, you know, I, I think more so than not, being a good coach is about being a great communicator. And that's what make, uh, makes our, our head coach, T. Lou, so good. He, he, he's a great communicator and, and uh, he's able to relate to guys. So uh, I'm just trying to follow in his footsteps. And hopefully, uh, in my first year, whenever I get a head coach a job, I can win a championship too. How much dialogue do you have with Coach Lou as you get ready for your first uh, head coaching stint here? Inside? One thing about him is he's man, he's uh, he, he's he's been great. Uh, he's not always over my shoulder. He, he, he lets me uh, you know, feel my way through it. You know, I have a plan. You know, uh, I've watched a lot of film on the guys that we have. I have a plan, and and I'm just going to try to execute it to the best of my ability. Put those guys in positions where we we can succeed.